Before we begin any slit lamp investigations, it is important that the patient is set up correctly. This can be done by adjusting the height of the chair and chin rest to appropriate heights, ensuring the patient is comfortable and the patient's eye is level with the black marker shown here. Usually the first method used will be diffuse illumination. This allows us to gain an overall view of the anterior eye, including the lids and lashes. Most slit lamps will have a diffuser which can be placed over the mirror, allowing us to see the eye over an even illumination. If your slit lamp doesn't have this diffuser attachment, a similar illumination can be gained by increasing the slit width to its maximum and decreasing the brightness to prevent patient discomfort. Today we'll be using the diffuser. Adjust the illumination system and observation system so they are 45 degrees apart. Set the magnification to low and have the overall illumination of the eye at a moderate level. Firstly, while viewing the eye, we ask the patient to close their eyes to observe the lids and lashes. We then ask them to reopen their eyes so we can investigate the anterior eye. Secondly, ask the patient to look in different positions of gaze to have a better look at the peripheral bulbar conjunctiva. When looking in the downwards and upwards gaze, it is beneficial to hold the patient's eyelids. You should warn the patient you are going to do this beforehand.